All right, welcome back everyone. Uh, today we'll be going through some VLSM practice. So if you haven't watched the first two videos I've made, I highly recommend you to go watch them because without the basics, uh, starting off with VLSM would probably be a bit more harder. So yeah, let's just dive straight into one. We've got one example for the VLSM today. We're starting off with a network address of 172.16.0.0 slash 23. Um, and we need to create subnets. Uh, we need to create seven subnets in total. So the first subnet will be of 200 hosts. We're calling that subnet A. The second subnet is of 100 hosts. We're calling that subnet B. Um, the third one's 50 hosts, subnet C. The fourth and the fifth ones are of 10 hosts each, um, and they're called D1 and D2. And the final two will be of two hosts each, and they'll be called E1 and E2. So for me, I've, for this particular problem, what I've done is I've arranged them in um, in order of the highest subnets to the, um, sorry, the highest hosts to the lowest hosts. But during, uh, let's say an exam question, you might get them in a different order, but you always wanna remember one thing, you, you're supposed to start from the top to the highest number of hosts, and then you work your way down to the lowest number of hosts. So any order it is, um, needless to say, it could be subnet Bs on top, subnet As at the bottom, that does not matter. What matters is the number of hosts should always be the first. Um, the number of the subnet with the largest number of hosts should always be at the top. Um, so yeah, uh, we can start with the question right uh, straight away. So the first thing we, we have to do for creating a VLSM scheme is that we need to check, uh, we need to keep breaking down the original network address we've given into all of these uh, subnets that we're supposed to create. So let's start off with the first one. Um, so we can we can break down 172.16 uh, or the slash 23 prefix into a slash 24 prefix. So uh, breaking that down into two would give us the network address of 172.16.0.0 slash 24. And this will be, the range of this would be all the way to 172.16.0.255 slash 24. And the second address breaking down this into 24 would give us would be 172.16.0.1 slash 24 and 172.16.1.255. Sorry, this one will be dot one dot zero because we are using one as a magic number and this will be slash 24 as well so uh what we did here is basically we're using the magic number technique once again since we have 23 as our um as our subnet which will mean that our subnet id would be one 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 dot let's just copy this one 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 one. Next one. Species. Um, okay, and then this one would be one 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 and zero because it's a slash twenty three, and the last one would be all zeros. So what we're doing this, uh, what we're doing to this is we're changing this to. Let's change this to text. Text. If I can see it. Text. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. So we are changing this subnet ID to the same as this one. So this will be same. This will be same. And here, rather than having all zeros, we are adding one additional one because we are increasing it by one subnet bit, which means that our magic number would be one. So if you don't know how the magic number trick works, um, uh, I have explained that in my previous videos, but Basically, what happens is if your subnet, um, subnet or the octet you are adding ones or zeros in is, or the octet you're adding your subnet bits to is in, ends at here. So let's say our our third octet would have been uh, one 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 uh, one and zero 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 zero. So in this case, our magic number would have been eight, which means that our subnets keep increasing by eight. But since our uh, our last one is actually at the last one. So here, this means that our magic number is one, which means that our all of our 24 uh, 
slash 24 networks will increase by one in the third octet, which we've done here. So it starts off with a zero and we get a one. Now we are subnetting a slash 23 prefix, which means that from 23 to 24, so if you're going from slash uh, slash 23 to 24, this will basically mean that we are adding one subnet bit. And if you're adding one subnet bit, it means that we are creating two subnets because the formula for the number of subnets is due to the power of number of bits that we have taken. So we've taken one bit from the slash 23, made it slash 24. That's why we're only getting two different subnets. Now, from here on, uh, we have our subnet A already because this one, uh, this uh, subnet here satisfies the requirements of 200 hosts because we are left with uh, eight, eight um, sorry, this will be all zeros. So, sorry. Okay, yeah. So this one has all zeros as a host bit. So eight, eight zeros as the eight host bits. That means that our usable hosts would be two to the power of eight minus two, minus two, because one uh, IP address will be for the network address and one IP will be for the broadcast address. The network address will be the first IP and the broadcast address would be the last IP. Now our host range would then become 172.16.0.1 because we are starting from one slash 24 again. We're not changing the subnet mask and it'll go all the way to dot zero dot two five four because two five five is for the broadcast address. And again, slash 24. Now we, we have used this IP as our subnet A already so we can write there subnet A. Now we are left with this, uh, this range to work with. Now, we just cannot assign this range to subnet B because that would mean that we won't have enough um, addresses for the rest of the subnet. So we keep uh, subnetting it further down. So the slash 24 would now become slash 25 and would give us two different, um, two different uh, addresses to work with. So basically what I mean is if we change this slash 24 into slash 25, and we'll do the same for this one, make it slash 25. And we will do the same for the ones above. So basically, we took this subnet of the slash 24 and we changed the mask to slash 25. That means you're borrowing one additional bit now. So we'll have all ones here. And the final one will become we're adding one, uh, we're adding one more subnet bit and then followed by seven zeros. So four, five, six, seven. So this is our new subnet mask slash 25. In um, in decimal, it would be 255, 255, 255, 128. Again, I've explained this in my previous video. So now that we've added one additional bit, we know that again, it'll give us two new, um, two new addresses to work with because one more bit, so two to the power one, which is two. And now we have the first address is a 192.168.1.0 slash 25. But the range will be different now because since our magic number is has now changed um, once again, because now our final octet, the one we're subnetting in, is this. So that means that the first uh, value is one, and then um, rest all are zeros. So, so that means our magic number now becomes one to eight. So what this means is that our network addresses would go up by one to eight. So this one would start with one to eight. Uh, 128, and the range would now decrease to 127 because one less, and it will end at 255. So now we know that this one here, um, again, uh, we know that it has seven host bits left because seven zeros. So two to the power seven minus two, that is 126 which means that it satisfies our subnet B requirements as well. So we can go and title the subnet B now. Okay, now we're left with this IP address to work with and we have gotten our values for subnet B. So we'll just plot that in. And our range would now be 172.16.1 because we are in a different subnet. And then it will start off by one again because 
be using the first address and the host range would become 172.16.126.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
208 plus 16, so 214224 slash 28. And the last one would be 172.16.1. Plus 16 again, so 224 plus 6 would be 230 plus 10, 240, and slash 28 again. So our uh, broadcast address for these would become one, uh, 172.16.1.207 slash 28, 172.16.1.223 slash 28, 172.16.1.239 slash 28 and finally the last one would become 172.16.1.255 slash 28 so we've created four subnets we won't be using all four we are uh, obviously just going to use the first two and then we'll subnet that one um later on so yeah coming back to our table we are left with four host bits which we calculated previously which gives us um Two to the power of four, which is 16, minus two, 14, which satisfies our 10 hosts requirement for subnet D1 and D2. So let's just take these addresses in, plot them down. And we will name this subnet D1, and this as subnet D2. Let's take the values for D2 as well. And our range would now for D1 become 172.161.193 um, all the way to 172.16.1.222 um, slash 28 for both. And for D2, it will become 172.16.1.209 Sorry, this will be 206, not 206. And yeah, this one would start from 209 and go up to 172.16.1.222. This one is 22. Yep. All right. And there we go. So we have our D1 and D2. Now, to make uh, we need to make two subnet um, two subnet E, so subnet E1 and E2 with two hosts each, which means that if this is our current um, subnet mask, we just need two usable hosts, which means that we can borrow two more additional bits, which would then give us uh, two host bits left. And two to the power two is four minus two, one for the network address, one for the broadcast address that gives us uh, Two host, um, two usable hosts, which satisfies our requirement. So we won't be needing to use the final one. We can just go ahead and use this slash um, twenty eight subnet mask and further subnet this into slash thirty subnet masks. So the first address will be the same, but changes to slash thirty. And now our our magic number uh, becomes four. So rather than going up by sixteen each time, now we're just going up by four each time. So that will basically mean that our next address will become 192.168.1.228 slash 30. And this one, the broadcast address would be 227 slash 30. And the broadcast address for this would become 6.1.232, um, sorry, slash 30. So because uh, 228 is the first one, 229 the second, 230 the third, and 231 the fourth, which gives us four addresses as we calculated. So we can we still have we can still make two more subnets because uh, subnetting a slash 28 into a slash 30 would mean that we're adding two additional host bits, um, which means that we're making four subnets out of this. But we just need two, so we're just going to have two, um, and we can um, leave it at there. So this one will become E1, and subnet will become E2.
Yep, and now let's add in our hosts, um, the host range. So 172.16.1.225, and this will just go up to 226. So 172.16.1.226, because 227 is our broadcast. And the final one will become 172.16.1.229. Two two nine two two thirty so 172.16.1.230. So this is how you use um, you make a VLSM scheme. Again, uh, the first step always arrange them um, at the highest number of hosts first, moving down to the lowest number of hosts, and keep subnetting them them down to uh, to essentially you've completed all the subnets you require. So we had seven for our example. So that gives us seven different addresses. And yeah, that's how you subnet. Hope you hope you learned um, something from this video. As always, if you have any questions, please do let me know. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.